ladies and gentlemen, lower the volume and meet the bad brains. Not what you'd call the crowning achievement of modern culture, but definitely a part of it, a loud part of it. This is the crowd that dances to the music of the bad brains. Wanna dance? It might be safer to sit this one out. The next one, too. What you are witnessing here is a genuine social phenomenon called punk new wave rock and roll. Despite put-downs, open hostility, and misunderstandings on the part of club owners and the public, it's becoming more and more popular everywhere. In the beginning, we um, used to have trouble getting gigs in clubs in D.C., so that's why we had to go to New York. Club play. owners even told us, like, maybe, maybe we can play here when you come back from England or when you do this. Yeah. Just go away when you come back, maybe then, but not now, no, you know? Like here, you come out Monday night and hear New Wave at the Bayou. When if I was in New York City, I could go Sunday night and hear some hard stuff at CBGB's and Monday and Tuesday, you know? Wednesday, too, if I want. Always. <laughs> Every day. That's right. In New York, New Wave is a daily phenomenon. D.C. is simply behind the times. Maybe you don't agree. Then you just don't understand the origins of punk and New Wave. So here's a brief lesson. Bad Brains lead singer, H.R. For a long time, it felt like music was just going nowhere, and it was even just a shame to turn on the radio. This is my personal opinion. I don't know about anyone else. So I was bored, and that was the main reason I started getting into hard rock. The music we play has put punk rock. The, the ghettos of London back in the late 70s, 76, 77. is really where punk and new wave music all began. The Bad Brains tried to head back to their musical roots last year. They were intercepted at Heathrow Airport in London and summarily deported the same day. Lost all their equipment. A classic hard luck story. Back in New York, they had no money, lived on corn chips and beer, and played on borrowed equipment. No fun. But bass player Daryl just became more determined than ever. It got hard. It got hard for me. You know, I didn't, you know, after all of that, you know, but I had to still be strong and say, well, this is what I'm all about. Because this is what I want to do. And that's what I'm going to do, no matter what. After all this rock and roll information, you uneducated folk may still have a few unanswered questions. Like, how can you hear the words? And how come everyone's beating each other up on the dance floor instead of dancing, like nice boys and girls? That one's got the band stumped, too. You have to understand that um, it, the music, the scene, the, the dance, it reflects the times. Um, as far as the dancing and the kids beating each other up, well, I don't know why they do it. The only one who probably does know is the almighty one. I couldn't tell you. You know, a lot of people say uh, that our shows are violent, you know, uh, but in all the shows that we did, we've never had one violent accident, not one. So you can't really say it's any band. It's just really uh, just the times that we live in. Never has it been truer that the more things change, the more they stay the same. But with all the noise, screaming and yelling, dancing techniques and frenzied activity, can it possibly be fun? I didn't have fun. I wouldn't do it because then it wouldn't be real. You know, if I got out there and said, I don't want to do this. And I would play that like I didn't want to do it, you know. And these guys definitely play like they mean it. We'll be right back with our PM Magazine department.